Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at how to find the concept of total differential using the idea of, of partial derivative. Now, how do we get total differential with the concept or the idea of partial derivative? How do they work? Um, so here's what to note. Here's what to note. Let's say I'm giving a function u of let's say two variables x and y okay such that such that x is a function of one variable let's say the one variable is t and y is a function of the same variable just t then we'll have that total differential that the u all over the t now look at this it's now a total differential no longer call it's now um, straight u it's equal to so to be equal to now here's my formula partial u all over partial x multiplying um, dot dx all over dt plus partial u all over partial y multiplying dy all over dt now observe something that these ones here are partial while these ones here are total the reason being that for this one here u is a function of two variables so since u is a function of two variables if i differentiate u with respect to just x it becomes partial i still have a y which i did not differentiate with respect to so it becomes partial also here too here too i differentiated u with respect to y ignoring x so it still becomes partial meanwhile for this x is a function of just one variable which is what there t so if i differentiate x i am differentiating x with respect to t no other variable is left so it becomes what there a total differential and then same thing here too becomes total differential of y so this becomes the formula for calculating total um, differential using the idea of partial derivative so question what if i have a third function what if i have something that looks like um u of let's say x y z for instance such that um x is a function of t y is a function of t and z is a function of t for this what would be my formula for this case here my formula will be that the total differ differential of u with t will be equal to partial u all over partial x multiplying total x all over total t plus partial u all over partial y multiplying total y all over total t plus partial u all over partial z multiplying total z all over total t so basically just the same thing there i will just add a third one all right so see why i combine the partial and the total the partial and the total of course the partial and the total all right so we'll take an example on this and solve problems on this for um better understanding all right let's try this example to solidify our knowledge on total differential using the concept of partial derivative all right so this question says let u be equal to x squared plus 3y to power 4 plus z to power 5 okay so the question here is um and x is this y is this z is this evaluate total u over total t observe that this is now it's no longer a curve d it's a straight d that tells you total differential all right so the straight d tells you it's a total differential problem so what do i do here solution my first tax i'm giving you as being equal to x squared plus 3y to power 4 plus z to power 5 
my first task is to find partial u over partial x if i look through this equation here x can only be found here so if i differentiate x squared it gives you 2x that's from general method that's the first one let's get partial u all over partial y that will be equal to if i look through this y can only be found here so differentiate this what do you get 4 times 3 is 12 y to power 4 minus 1 is 3 finally let's get um this let's get partial u all over partial z now be equal to multiply by the power that becomes 5 so 5z to power 5 minus 1 4 so i have this all right okay so i'm here after this what next also also i have that x x is equal to exponential 4t let's get the x dt differentiate x with respect to t now for the fact that the the um, variable here is just one it will become a total x all over total t reason being that i have just one variable which is t for this one i have three variables one two three and i only differentiated with respect to only one of them each time in this case it was x was y was z here so it became partial but in this case i have just one variable which is what there t so it's a total differential that's equal to um if you remember how we how we solve if you remember how we solve um, the shortcut for exponential equation which we've done in a previous class we said the idea is very simple i would differentiate the question all right i'll leave a link to the video on differential of exponential term so you can go back there and revise i give you a shortcut the shortcut was this that if i have an exponential term like this how do i differentiate it very simple the idea would be for this if i differ just differentiate the power if i differentiate the power here is 40 if i differentiate 40 it gives you what there four and then repeat the question that's exponential 40 all right so that means before you start doing partial derivative make sure you've mastered the basic concepts of differentiation okay again <coughs> again i'll leave a link to um, description to the video on this in the description of this video so just check the description you see a link to this all right let's proceed mm, let's proceed let's now also we have y uh why is that here we have that y is equal to cos t let's do partial driving uh, partial differentiation or total since i have just one variable i'll have that dy over dt is equal to if i differentiate cos t i have what there negative sine t that becomes minus sine t all right again we've treated this one before now um in our previous classes on differentiation so you can go and check um that the derivative of cos t is minus sine t finally let's now get z so we said z is equal to log t let's do differential i'll have that total differential of z with t will be equal to if i differentiate log t i'll have what there one over t so it becomes one over t all right so please all of these stuffs has been done before now in our previous class all right so go through go to the go to our playlist so go to playlist under this channel you see playlist on that playlist, you see differentiation all right you can now search for this you see this one here is under differentiation of exponential function this one here is under differentiation of differentiation of trigonometric function this one here is under differentiation of logarithmic function so that you can better understand this all right let's proceed from here from here we can now see therefore total u all over total t is equal to partial u over partial x dot total x over total t plus partial u over partial y dot total y all over total t plus partial u all over partial z dot 
total z all over total t so i have this all right let's substitute values and solve this what do we have this is equal to let's impute values that's equal to partial u over partial x that's this that gives us 2x into total x over total t that's this that becomes 4 exponential 4t plus partial u over partial y that's this that's 12 y cube this one here into total y over total t that's this one here minus sine t so minus sine t but i now have plus partial u over partial z that's this 5 z to power 4 that's 5 z to power 4 into total z over total t that's 1 over t so i have 1 all over t all right so we have these values my next step is now be expand if i expand this that's equal to 2x times this 2 times 4 gives you 8 x times exponential 40 gives you x exponential 40 plus times minus is minus 12 y cubed times sine t gives you y cubed sine t okay plus 5 z to the power 4 times 1 gives you 5 z to the power 4 all over t so this multiplies numerator all over t so i have this so this is now the value of du over dt that's total u over total t but then we are not done all right it is not it's it's, it's um it's not proper if the value of total u over total t is in different variables in this one here i can see x i can see t i can see y i can see z that's not proper so what you do is this you simply resubstitute the value of x y and z back into this equation that becomes 8 so i'm having 8 here into x was x go back to the first the, to the uh, main question here x is equal to exponential 4t that becomes 8x into this one here exponential 40 minus 12 into y cube what's y i'll go back to this y is equal to cos t y is cos t to power 3 that's y cube into sine t so i'm having sine t plus plus 5 into z to power 4 what z z is log t so it becomes log t to power 4 all over t so i have this all right so expanding further i will now have that total u all over total t is equal to i have this as 8 expand this to uh, we said for multiply, multiplication of terms, we said if I have the same base, that's exponential, I'll simply add the power. The power here is 40, the power here is 40. 40 plus 40 gives you 8t. So I have this minus, so minus 12 into cos t to the power 3 gives you cos cube t. If I expand this, I'll have this into sine t. So I have sine t plus finally I have this one here. That's 5 into log t to power 4 all over t. So I have this. All right, so this becomes the um, solution to this problem. Okay, plus. All right, so if you look at this now, you observe that the variable now is just in t i have just one variable here which is t so it's just t and just t and just t so this is how we solve total differential using the concept or the idea of partial differential or partial derivative all right then 
Okay, so I've done a complete video tutorial on partial derivative. So if you want to learn partial derivative um, completely, right, you can visit my website. I've done a complete playlist for this from the very scratch of partial derivative, and I'll take I'll walk you through all the concepts of partial derivative. It's in my website. You can get it at www.jonahemmanuel forward slash courses. All right, there you see second year undergraduates. You can now get it there. All right. All right, then. That's this for this question. See you in the next class.